An immigrant worker in St. Paul was among those who died in the heat wave. He collapsed at a nursery during our record breaking temperatures. As Morgan Romero tells us, advocates are outraged and calling for greater protection for farm workers. Missing a few hours of work could mean their family misses their next meal. It's sick. It's sick the way that their um, productivity is is literally pitted directly against their 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 health and their and their life. Even as the historic heat wave scorched the Pacific Northwest, thousands of immigrants went to work in fields, farms, and nurseries. Sebastian Francisco Perez was one of them. He immigrated from Guatemala to support his wife. She wanted to start fertility treatments, so he came here to save up money to go back and and help her pay for that. After moving irrigation lines at Ernst Nursery and Farms in St. Paul Saturday, workers found Perez unconscious and dying in the field. Oregon OSHA listed his death as heat related. Heat death, heat illness, it is entirely preventable. Farm worker advocates say they asked the state to adopt a mandatory emergency rule and standards before the heat wave to protect people working outside in extreme heat. It, does, it needs to be treated like the emergency that it is. It's a crisis. Some of the things that we would like to see included in any kind of emergency rules or standards are pretty basic, frankly. What we want to see is access to cold and clean water at the work sites for outdoor workers that are provided by the employer. We also would like to see access to shade that is going to be adequate to protect all farm workers on the, sh uh, on the shift and at the site that is close to the fields. Advocates also want to see frequent paid breaks when temperatures are above 90. Oregon OSHA is investigating whether there were any workplace violations, which could take up to four months. OSHA can cite employers for not protecting workers during extreme weather, but the specifics about how to protect them are left up to the employer. There needs to be enforceable binding requirements that if the employer fails to provide the necessities of life to these people, that there you know, is going to be some element of being able to hold them accountable when these disasters hit. When Governor Brown ordered state offices to mitigate climate change last March, Oregon OSHA worked with the health authority to come up with specific rules and standards to prevent heat illness. But the pandemic delayed the effort and a formal rule proposal isn't expected till September. If we would have had some of these things in place, um, it could be that El Señor Sebastián Francisco Pérez could be with us here today. Morgan Romero, KGW News. We did reach out to Ernst to ask about working conditions. We have not heard back. Advocates, by the way, are holding a vigil for Perez in front of the nursery tomorrow.